But further talking about parenthood and why communication is also key is because as your child gets older, they start to pick up on that. And the Mm -hmm. way that you communicate to each other is a reflection of how your child may Mm. communicate, whether it be the opposite of that or the same thing because of what they see in the home. Right. And so it's important because you also don't want to give your child like mixed signals either. Like you're telling your child, like raising them to, you know, have a certain type of mindset or, you know, just develop into your own communicating a certain way. But as parents, you're not being a reflection of that. Mm, And so it's just important all around because your children do pick up on that. And, you know, that's how habits and things like that build as well. Um, yeah. As far as like how they in turn respond to things, are they more um, reserved or are they openly expressive with their thoughts and their feelings and things yeah. like that? And it's because a lot of the times it's also a reflection of what they've experienced in the home and seeing how their parents communicate. Mm, amen. That's such a good point. And the last point that I want to make is that, you know, when you have a child with somebody, Mm -hmm. it's everybody's dream and and goal for those two parents to stay together Mm -hmm. and to want to raise this child together Mm -hmm. and have a, a a family that's not broken apart. And it's not a one house, a one parent household. The goal is to be a two parent household and and to show Mm -hmm. that love and Mm -hmm. that respect and that honor and that communication throughout, throughout the entire journey. Mm -hmm. And it's these type of conversations that really can put you in a, a better perspective and, and light to understand like how important the small things are and mm-hmm. how important it is to communicate because that's really where it all starts. It's about that communication. And all, as long as two, you, you two are on the same page as far as parenting, as far as your relationship, as far as uh, expectations and all that stuff, mm-hmm. Everything else seems to follow in line. But as soon as communication gets off track, that's where all the the small other things start to really affect the relationship. Mm -hmm. So keeping that communication strong in every aspect of the relationship and especially in your parenthood Mm -hmm. is extremely crucial. Right. And we are going to continue to preach on the communication. Right. Um, And and one last thing is still tying into that because I'm I'm not going to keep going off into it. And when we say communication, obviously we're, we're talking about verbal communication. Like that's the biggest thing. But not all forms of communication are verbal. You know, Good you point. have to also Good pick point. up on body language, social cues, um, energy, things like that. Um, and it's so important. And, and so um, when people say read the room, sometimes, yeah, you do have to read the room and mm-hmm. read how your partner is feeling. You mm-hmm. may not necessarily know. And that's when the verbal communication comes in and you can say, Hey, you know, I don't know. Your body language seems a little off today or your, your body language doesn't seem like your, your, your normal self is everything. Okay. Which, which is what we have struggled with from time to time. Oh yeah. And you know, we, we struggle with that too. You know, like when we're saying this, we're not perfect. We, yeah, we're not perfect we still make mistakes and, but we, we make sure that we correct Yeah, and we come back. It may not be in that present moment, but an hour from, from then or the next day and say, Hey, like, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Right. Or let's talk about how you were feeling earlier today. I picked up on your body language and um, you don't quite seem like yourself today. What's right. going on? Yeah. Let's talk about or it. Or that wasn't cool. Like, or nah, that I, wasn't I didn't, cool. I didn't or I didn't that. I didn't like that. Or I and, didn't appreciate, you know, you know I mean, what we, you did, et cetera. You know, we're, we're, when we're, when we're talking about this, we're also like experiencing it as well. And we're yeah. navigating through these waters too. And a lot of it is trial and error, of course. Um, and it also comes from experience. So we feel confident having these conversations because these are some things that we've worked through, but we are still working through some of them yeah. as well. And we're, and also we're, we're com- new parents. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we're, and you just spoke on confidence. Mm-hmm. We're confident in talking about this because we're confident in our relationship. Yeah. We're confident in who we are individually and together. Mm-hmm. And, the confidence that we have through the 14 years that we 14, 13, 13. I don't know. 13. How do they all? I think it's together. 13. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, that confidence is there. So we're able to, to share some of the, the, some of the issues that we've even had. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're not major issues. There's things that we can address because we've been there mm-hmm. and now we know how to, properly 
communicate it mm -hmm. to you guys mm -hmm. so that it hopefully can help you in the long run with your relationship or your next relationship if you're single and for that relationship to blossom into a marriage and that marriage to be a long lasting right. partnership. Yeah. And if you have kids for this to be a lesson as far as you raising them kids right and, and you raising your relationship right along the way. That's yeah. what this is all about. So with that said, we're going to wrap it up. My name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is The Yam Boys. And remember to find joy in the journey. Peace. Building a happy home. Yeah. Building a happy marriage. Building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines. It's about those habits. And building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship, and to pour into yourself. Exactly.